This tissue is a lung parenchyma. Here we have alveoli with interalveolar septi, and the inner surface of the alveoli is lined by pneumocytes. We can differentiate two types of pneumocytes. Type 1 pneumocytes, those are these flat cells lining uh, the alveoli, and type 2 pneumocytes which protrude into the lumen of the alveoli. The job of type 2 pneumocytes is to produce surfactant which keeps the alveoli open and prevent them uh, from collapsing. Inside interalveolar septi we can see capillaries filled with erythrocytes and lined by endothelial cells as here for example. So the oxygen from the air needs to get to the alveoli and then uh, it crosses this layer to get into the erythrocytes and then it can get to the multiple tissue all over the body. When there is something else inside of the alveoli the air couldn't get there and we have a problem and this is the case of bronchopneumonia. Uh, bronchopneumonia is basically patchy multifocal inflammation of the lung tissue which starts in the bronchi and spreads to the adjacent alveoli and it is the result of bacterial infection or sometimes also fungal or other infections but usually the cause is bacteria and uh, the inflammation starts as catarrhal inflammation uh, when there is a lot of mucus in the alveoli and just a few neutrophils and it can progress to purulent bronchopneumonia with a lot of neutrophils as we can see is this case. So all of these cells are basically neutrophils and the thin strands that's fibrin which is part of an exudate as well. If the bacteria is uh, very aggressive as in the case of Staphylococcus aureus or Pseudomonas infection. Uh, we can see destruction of the interalveolar septi and the formation of abscesses. So this is the large abscess and other abscesses here and here. And the complete resolution in this case is not possible and if the bronchopneumonia is uh, this severe and it is bilateral there is no space left for breathing so there is no surprise that this specimen is not the lung biopsy but it is the material from the autopsy. Okay so this is bronchopneumonia sort of rescue for all the terminally ill hospitalized patients. Thanks for watching.